Hello, my name is Jessica, and I am one of the educators here at Bywater Solutions. In today's session, we are going to go through the introduction to Koha with the EDS integration, or EBSCO's discovery service. Let's start by taking a look at the OPAC. This allows your users to come into the OPAC and do a search for all materials. You'll notice that in my search bar, we have a drop-down menu here that usually defaults to search the catalog or library search or keyword. With the integration of EDS, your users have seamless search abilities to allow them to search all materials. This will allow them to search both the integrated EDS materials along with your items from the Koha catalog. Now, let's talk a little bit about setup first. In the staff client, the first thing you'll need to do is install the plugin. Now, for those of you who are using Bywater Solutions, we can set that up for you. If we come over to Koha Administration and then scroll down to Manage Plugins, this will show us if we have that EDS API integration. This plugin is what integrates EBSCO's discovery service into Koha. Under the Actions items, we can come down to Configure. This is where we will set up information like our username and password, our profile ID, which all comes from the EBSCO administration portal. Uh, we will walk you through setting up this information. EBSCO will provide you with a survey that will help you set up the integration. Now, there are two ways to integrate Koha into um, with EDS. The first is what we're showing you today, how your users will be able to search in the OPAC. The second option would be to harvest your Koha records and send them via FTP over to the EDS discovery service where your users can search there. Again, today what we're going to show you is how to search and integrate EDS within Koha. Once this information is set up, your users will be able to come over to the OPAC and begin their basic search. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this set to all materials, and I'm going to do a basic search here just for ethics. What this will do is this will bring back the results for my search for ethics. Now you'll notice over here on the left hand side, our results and our facets look a little different. You'll notice that we have limiters and expanders. I can now search by full text or if I just want to look for items that are in the catalog, I can select catalog only. As I scroll down, I can search by source type. Maybe I'm just looking for a magazine or conference materials. I can search by subject, publisher, publication, language, geography, category, and then of course our content providers. So if I was looking for something with business source complete, I can select that facet and limit down my results. Now, through my results here, you'll notice that my integrated EDS allows me to link right into my PDF full text, perhaps my full text finder, or any other HTM full text that may be available for the items in my EDS collection. I can come over here and the user can actually link right into their PDF as long as they are authenticated. This will take them directly into the PDF or full text or HTML uh, that is available within EDS. That way the user doesn't have to search two platforms when coming into the system. Now, let's say I did want to search just the catalog. If I come over here, select my facet for catalog only, this will bring back results that are listed for my catalog. So now I can come in and search for items that are available, and you can see items are available for loan here. So this gives the user an integrated search feature that allows them to come in and search both platforms at once. This EDS tutorial about the EBSCO Discovery Service is a production of Bywater Solutions. If you have more questions about the integration of EBSCO's EDS, please contact us at bywatersolutions.com and we'll be able to show you more information and get you started on the integration. My name is Jessica Zarrow and I'm one of the educators here at Bywater Solutions.